Hello and welcome to our Strategy Automator Overview. OK, so this is our EA running on the chart. So what it is, it's a manual trade panel, but what's special about it is it can be configured to do things automatically. So you can configure it to capture indicator values, and based on those values it could alert you. You could get it to uh, open a trade as a one-off, we call that semi-automatic, where you authorise it on a per-trade basis or it can trade continuously and it can manage exits for you as well automatically it can set up pending orders it can print indicator values on the chart and so on okay so let's just go through the panel just from top to bottom so we've got our news events we've got the trade status shown here we've got our built-in indicators that show you the direction that the market's going in on multiple time frames and also how many pips it's moved in that direction and, and these indicators that are built in is much better than the sort of CCI and MACD that uh, other traders tend to use. We've also got all the support and resistance lines built in, daily pivot, weekly pivot, all the essentials, average daily range and so on. We've then got our one-click trading buttons. We've then got the money management where you can set the particular risk that you want to take per trade of your account or you can type in a particular amount in there or you can just type in the lot size directly and there's separate controls for the sell and buy as well so that you can do full very flexible hedging and so on. Now the lot size is calculated using our hidden stop loss which is this yellow line here sometimes called a virtual stop loss and we've got a whole video called the truth about brokers that explains the reasons for using a hidden stop loss. When you open a trade we do set a broker stop loss but it's deliberately further away. Okay, so at the moment the stop loss is set to automatic and we've had lots of uh, feedback from traders who really love our automatic mode but you can select a particular number of pips or you can select manual and then what you can do is actually move the line on the chart and obviously it will recalculate the lot size for you. Now these are the take profit lines and you can see that they actually move as you move the stop loss because they're set for particular risk reward ratios by default but you can set it to particular pips and it's also set to scale out so there's actually four targets there so as you reaches the first target it'll close out 25% second target 50% and so on but all of that's completely configurable so you can just have one take profit line or just two lines and you can change it on the fly by pressing this TP button and it shows you each of those targets so each of those four lines so you can see there it's exiting 25% 50% and so on but what you can also get it to do is as it reaches a target you can actually get it to adjust the stop loss you can get it to trail the stop loss and set for break even as well so there's a lot of control over each of the targets as they are reached. We also have our pending orders and these again are virtual hidden pending orders and you can just enable it there and what it can do is alert you when the price is reached or take the trade or it can do it only when the candle is actually closed above below the line and all you need to do is just select there it'll put the line on the chart you can just position it to where you want it'll automatically switch between a limit and a stop type also if we then just open a trade so this is our one click trading button so you just click the sell button so open the trade there you can see now our close buttons appeared and you can close a particular percentage if you like and you can also scale in so you can add to your position and now with the pending orders what you can do is get it to scale in when a particular price is reached so it can actually effectively press that button for you when the trade has actually moved and reached that price okay so now we get on to the interesting part of the system which is the automation so you notice these rule controls now these are the default rules that we ship the system with and basically what they can do for you is to open a trade automatically when these arrows change and you can set it to whether it's just a retracement strength or actually a reversal and similarly you can do it on the exit as well so if you've in an existing trade and it changes back the other way it can exit for you we've got stop loss reverse and we've got a button that will close all trades for all EAs that are running on different charts as well in terms of your own trading rules we can configure those for you that is included in the price of the EA also though if you go to our website which is runwisefx.com forward slash CSA we've actually got a trading rules library of ready-made rules and we're going to be adding to this list quite substantially over the coming weeks it's really easy to get these rules into your uh, EA let's have a look uh, so there's, there's rules for entry 
exit. Also, they can display information on the chart. Let's have a look at this one. Displays a matrix of popular indicator values. All you need to do to be able to make sure that you can um, get the EA to read the rules from our website is you need to add runwisefx.com to this allow web request under the options expert advisors and provided you've done that we've got these quick load codes on our website so you can just go to config type in the quick load code which is D click download click OK and what it's done it's gone to our website it's got those rules and now look what it's doing it's showing you multiple indicators multiple time frames with a sum total at the bottom and that's all just done through configuration Another great rule we quite like is news exit because a news exit can a news event can really blow your trade out of the water. So what you can do again if you go the quick load code for that is e-n. So if we just go e-n download again. So it's like pick and mix really. So what we've got now is an auto news exit. So if you've got a trade open and a news event is coming along which could blow your trade out of the water, it's going to automatically exit for you just before the news. And if you didn't want it to do it at a particular occasion, you could just untick that box. So you can just turn it on and off with that. Now, of course, a lot of traders do want to be able to configure their own rules. And I'm very pleased to say that is now a lot easier with our brand new Windows GUI application which is new for 2016 and you can download it from our website and there's no extra charge for this it's included in the cost of the EA so I'm now going to show you that so it's a Windows application but what's special about it is not just about configuring the system the EA is actually connect to it in real time so you can see there we've got this central control tab where you can monitor we've got the EA running on multiple charts but you can actually see it all from one place and you can actually control the EA as well so you could switch it on to the uh, trade modes there for you you've got that accounts tab where it can manage multiple accounts and we also have a feature where you can have one master account and then any actions on that master account can be re replicated to uh, a variety of slave accounts you can also set a take profit uh, on the account so when the equity reaches a particular target it will close all trades for you automatically or similarly you can get it to trail all the stop losses when a certain target is reached or we've got a stop loss or you can get it to close all trades at a particular time and we also have a trades tab as well that will list any trades that have been taken we also have like a pop-up version of these windows so you can actually if you've got a big multi-monitor setup you can have various windows we've got a news events so rather than having it on the EA panel taking up your chart space you can just have it in one place here we have also got an improved alerts window so if the this GUI is running then the EA will actually send its alerts to the GUI and let's just demo that for you so we've got this little test alert test button. alert on euro dollar for buy so this is our new alerts window so it's showing you very clearly what the symbol is what the direction is and it's showing you the price that the alert happened at and how many pips the markets move so you can see if you've missed the boat and let's imagine you're on a different chart what you can do is double click the alert and it'll take you to the correct chart and you can right click and it can open the trade for you direct from the alert window so a lot of extra capability there the GUI can also be used to configure the EA and we've got four aspects to the configuration. We've got the EA input, so let's say you wanted the stop loss rather than being automatic you'd like it to be 35 pips. So that's how you would do that. Imagine though you wanted 45 pips for the Japanese currency pairs. This is how you could do that. You could just do copy lines, paste, and you've got this symbol column and if you just put in JPY there it's going to automatically pick this line up instead for any Japanese currency pairs that the EA happens to be running on. We've also got the indicators that you would like the EA to capture and it will work with custom indicators and paid for where you've just got the EX4 file that's absolutely fine and you can select the uh, time frame and so on that you'd like it to capture for and other properties as well. We've got these uh, controls where you can decide what controls you would like to have so you can see that's the uh, tick box there for that uh, news exit and we've got various uh, choices there you can have list boxes and buttons as well then you've got the rules themselves so let's have a little look so we've got that uh, news exit now let's have a look at the logic behind that now there is a bit of a learning curve to this 
but we've had plenty of traders who weren't programmers that have got their heads around this very easily uh, so you can see that news there it's just a couple of lines we've got the first line that just checks to see if it's ticked that box and then we've got a function that just returns a number of seconds to the high impact news and if it's less than a configured value then it just runs the command and we've got a whole variety of commands that you can choose to use. Now don't be, be scared by this as I said at the start we can configure things for you so you don't have to worry about any of this well this is just for traders that are actually interested in doing things for themselves and it is possible to get your head around it. We also have lots of smaller features as well and lots of polish. So there's very good error handling for instance. We've got login where this is like a CSV file gets generated with your execution time and slippage so you can keep an eye on your broker. And in terms of actually getting the demo so you can try it out for yourself, the best way of doing that is within MetaTrader. Uh, if you go, there's like a markets tab here and if you just type in runwise FX and you'll see our demo version there so if you just click that and click install and you'll be able to try it and it's fully functional on the CAD Swiss pair. Well thank you very much for watching if you've got any questions please do email us at support at runwisefx.com do visit that web page that I mentioned during the video and we'll also put some links to other videos that we've got at the side of your screen as well.